So is the world economy really nothing more than just one big game of dice? We're joined today by an economist who analyzes how the field works with the help of psychology. Dorothea Kubla from Berlin's Technical University. Thanks for joining us. Well, what do you think? Are these highly paid managers really nothing more than kids on a playground fighting over toys? <laughs> That's an interesting question. Actually, there have been studies uh, done, experiments done with children, and it has been shown that small children actually are more interested in their own uh, good than uh, in social, the social good. So they, they care more about themselves. And there is some, something to it. I think there is some self-selection going on that ma managers are the types that are more interested in their own and, and in the firm's uh, well-being. But that doesn't need to be bad because if the system is working right then they have the right incentives and it doesn't matter so if the market really works then it's not a problem but yeah it's been said that that half of what goes on in the markets has absolutely nothing to do with economics and everything to do with psychology what do you think I think there is something to it there, but I think both, I mean, f first of all, nobody has for uh, foreseen this, okay? Some economists claim that that's not a problem, we don't have to foresee it. But I think the psychology and economics direction is right in saying this is a big failure, okay? And it's a failure of the, of the, the hypothesis that markets are efficient, that they are functioning, okay? And, and there, that is where psychology comes in and says people are not rational, they are not always taking the right choices and they are not foreseeing everything. And therefore, there's a lot of scope now, I think, in, in economics will change in that direction, uh, uh, that these, these um, theories that are already around, and there has been instances where you could see before that psychology is very important, uh, they become more important in the future, these uh, approaches. Do you think that individuals are responsible for, the, for the, the current situation, or is it the system as a whole? Of course, there, some individuals invented some of these complicated financial products, but I think it's, you cannot ascribe it to individuals, it's the whole system. As Ellen Greenspan, the former president of the Fed uh, in the US uh, said, um, he and many others overestimated the ability of markets to correct themselves and to, he said that he thought that if these new products come out, um, these financial products, the market will say whether they work or not, but this hasn't uh, uh, proved to be right. Um. Can neuroeconomics prevent the kind of chaos that we've been seeing on the markets? In the current state, no. The answer is clear. Maybe there will be advances that I, but I, I doubt it. Uh, I think many different uh, uh, psychology as well as economics and maybe neuroeconomics uh, have to work together to do that. Many politicians have been calling um, for much tighter control of the markets, but do you think that, that greed, this instinctive greed, can ever truly be regulated? Yes, I think. I mean, that's an important, uh, an important issue for regulation to, to, ch to f channel the greed into directions that is good for everybody. That uh, and, and that is exactly what needs to be done. And to also trust is an important issue. So how can you regulate the market so that trust is restored? But I think that's exactly what these rules should do. Dorothea Kugler, thank you very much for joining us here today. Thank you.